Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and in the previous video, we started with selection logic or select queries in the driver program. Now what we will do, we will make a copy of our smart form. We will make a copy of our driver program and we will proceed with the particular requirement. See, requirement is same to same. There is no difference from the requirement perspective. Just we are developing same to same requirement that is recommended by SAP, but the best practice is recommended by SAP. So what I will do? I will firstly make a copy of our smartphone. I am not going, going for any changes with the existing smartphone. I will make a copy because otherwise we need to design the same layout again. Our layout is totally, totally same. Suppose I will write ZSF underscore order underscore 28. Suppose I will give underscore 1. I will go for OK. I will save it as a local object. I will go for change. Now I am going for activation. Now in this smart form, only our designing, only our displaying part, and yes, only small, small logic will be there. No select queries will be in this particular smart form. Now, same way, I will make a copy of the program now. This is the program. I will make a copy. So that you have the previous program, previous smart form is as it is. And we are going for a new smart form, a new driver program. I will go for activation of the new program. Now in this new program, as of now, I will just take a input parameter for order number. I'm commenting rest of the part. Whatever is required, we will take later. Just think. It is a scratch new, new thing itself. Requirement is same to same. And the only difference is your select queries or selection logic is in the driver program rather than in the smart form. So now your input is order number. Based upon this input, we will fetch that data from order header table we will fetch that data from order item table. Yes, it means we need to write two select queries. Now, rather than writing the queries again, what I will do, I will simply copy from the smart form itself. Now, you all know, whenever you are writing the select queries or selection logic, you need to save that data into internal tables. It means the first thing you need to create structures and we already have the structures. So I will simply, simply copy the structures and I will write into the program. I will paste into the program. Because now this Every logic, selection logic should be in the program. It should not be in that. It should, it, it, you know, your set queries or selection logic should be in the program. It should not be in the smartphone. So we simply copied the structures. Now we will go for declaration of internal tables now. So I will declare internal tables data lt underscore data type table of what is the name of a structure ltv underscore data 
Now I will declare the second internal table also. Data LWA data, sorry, LT underscore data one. We will only pass the internal tables. So I'm going for declaration of two internal tables. So I declared the structures. I declared the internal tables. Now we will write the queries. You all have already written the queries in the initialization. So we will copy. You can write from scratch also. It is totally your wish, but it is already written. So I will simply doing the copy paste. So we are fetching data from header table based upon the order number. Now we will simply, simply fetch that data from item table. So I will copy the second query. I will copy this if statement. For every if there is a end if. Now we will simply, simply copy the second query. So I copied the first query. I copied the second query. So you have declared the structures, internal tables, your selection logic is in the program. Now, is there any need to be in the smart form? No, there is no need at all now. So can we simply comment from the smart form? or we can delete from the smart form also. Suppose, firstly, I will delete the structures. Whatever the structures are there. Now, I will simply go to global data. You declare the internal tables in the program itself, in the program. So what I will do, I will simply delete the internal tables from here. Suppose as of now, I will delete the work areas also so that there is no confusion. We will declare the work areas again. So I deleted the internal table and work areas. I will go to initialization. Now, there is no need for the queries, no need for the queries. As of now, I am removing this read table also. I will write it again and show. Now, there is no need here now. I am removing input and output, everything. Just think we are going for a blank, nothing. No logic is in the smart form as of now. I will remove everything so that it will just save our time. So what I did, I simply, simply made a copy of the existing smartphone because designing is same. Now from the form interface, I will remove this P underscore O N O also. Because now we are not passing the order number. We will pass the internal tables. What are the internal tables? LT underscore data and LT underscore data one. So your header and item data is in these two internal tables. How, how you will pass to the smart form? with the help of form interface. You all know we can pass the input, we can take output from the smart form through the form interface, form interface. So here I will declare two internal tables, one for the header, one for the item. And yes, 
I will go for a different name so that you can understand fully that these are your program internal tables and these are your smart form internal table so that it will make more more sense. Now we will go for again again the previous concepts. Now how you can make a internal table here internal table type table of your structure your structure now just see can you declare a structure here using types statement can you declare a structure here using type statement you cannot declare a structure here using type statement it means if you cannot create a structure using types statement, you need to create which type of structure? You need to create a structure through SC11 transaction code. Now, but is second, you cannot write here type table of. If type table of is not accepting, you will create a table type. Always. From the starting itself in a BAP programming, in function module, subroutines, always, always we have this in class methods. Whenever we cannot go for local structure, we are always, always going for global structure. Whenever type table of is not accepting, we will create a table type. It means we need to create two structures with the help of SC11. We will go for two table types and we will pass here. Why, why we are going for this? Because now our input to the smart form is not the order number. Our input to the smart form is header data and item data. Your header and item data are in the internal tables. How you will pass the internal table? How you can make internal tables? Internal table type table of structure, local or global. If local is not accepting, we will go for global. If type table of is not accepting, we will go for table type. So in the next video, we will do this part. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what we did, we made a copy of the smartphone. We made a copy of the driver program. Yes, you can develop from the scratch also. No problem at all. But why, why I made a copy? Because layout is same to same. If I will again design the layout, yes, it will be very, very lengthy process. Yes. So what I did, I simply made a copy of the smartphone. I simply made a copy of the program. In the program, I have written the logic to fetch the data from header table and item table. Now, in the smartphone, it is already covered. Your smartphone is only for the display purpose. Your smartphone is for the designing purpose. So what we did, we just think that it is a new smartphone. So we removed all the structures. We removed all the selection logic. As of now, we only only have one variable lv underscore total because we are going we are using this so that's why i am not removing this variable after that what we covered yes now we will simply simply pass the internal tables to the smartphone so for that we will create table types and structure types through sc11 transaction code in the next video we will pass and then we will activate the smartphone. Just think in this particular smartphone. Now we do not have any select queries or selection logic. This is the best practice from the project.
perspective. So that's it in this video. Thank you.